Hello, Yevgenia. Thanks very much for joining us today. Hello, team. Nice meeting you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Very excited to speak about Ukraine. Uh, uh, newly, fairly, not newly, but quite a young regulated market. So um, plenty to discuss kind of legally and in terms of gambling. And yeah, very interested to hear what you have to say. Well, actually, we are the first bookmaker received license in Ukraine. Uh, actually, we received two licenses, one for online betting, one for online casino back in March uh, 2021. And the first year for us is just the year of preparation. So where we consider the local environment in terms of legal requirements, regulation, responsible gambling and advertising, of course. Mm -hmm. So it's like pre-production stage, I would say especially since the changes to the tax code of Ukraine uh, have not been adopted yet. Mm -hmm. Sure. It's been, uh, has it been roughly a year, I think, since since the uh, the, the, the regulated market launched in, in Ukraine, wasn't it? Roughly a year? Yeah, more, more than one year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just, the law just, was yeah. adopted in June 2020. Correct. Sure. So if you were to look back and reflect on the past kind of 12 to, I guess, 12 to 15 months, how would you, how would you sum it up? How would you review it? Well, um, as I mentioned, it's, uh, it's, it's a year when uh, many operators started to obtain their licenses. Uh, so far, as I mentioned, only one uh, betting license was obtained, but there were a number of uh, online casino and offline casino licenses. So the offline business has started its operation uh, faster than online from our perspective, mm -hmm. and uh, there were some consideration of the advertising and uh, responsible gambling uh, laws and regulation by the operators. Uh, so this this period I will call like pre-production uh, preparation period for for everyone. Sure. So would you say they were kind of? Uh, I think I think did, did you mention that the offline was was quicker than than online? Were, were there kind of some some companies that were some sectors that were bigger winners than others? Well, um, I have to admit that some of the international online and offline casino entered the Ukrainian uh, market and probably the offline business uh, definitely started its operation a bit uh, earlier because they had commitments in terms of the rental of premises, mm -hmm. purchasing the equipment, employment of the local staff, and uh, they probably put uh, like additional boost for the development of the market. Mm -hmm. Sure, that makes a lot of sense. Um, in terms of obviously Ukraine, um, it's very difficult to launch a regulated gambling market, um, especially when there's, I guess there was a lot of activity beforehand anyway, maybe grey market. Um, how difficult was the challenge facing the government and how would you say the government as itself has performed in kind of launching a market which, you know, isn't, isn't the easiest thing to do? Well, I would say that the challenge was huge for the government, uh, especially taking into account that the law was not adopted from the first time. So the first uh, hearing was not uh, uh, went through uh, and uh, the government and the parliament had to do the second uh, hearing and the second voting of the law to be adopted. But even though uh, my consideration is that the government did everything it could, it put the best efforts to develop the industry and to develop the licensing conditions for different types of uh, uh, gambling activity, to develop the list of equipment that need to be certified, to develop the list of the laboratory that are allowed to certify the equipment, uh, to adopt the responsible gambling rules for all the operators and to be involved into the development of the advertising policy for, for, for the whole industry and the whole market. So I think uh, government did great job through these like 12, 15 months, but there are much more to be done, of course. Yeah, definitely. I mean, are there any particular areas, maybe anything you've mentioned there, that the government really kind of needs to maybe uh, prioritize improving as the market kind of grows? Well, uh, actually, the most important thing right now is to uh, amend the tax code of Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Last week, CIS was held in Kiev, and there were like many representatives so from the governmental authorities, from the industry, mm -hmm. and everyone emphasizes the importance of the changes to the uh, tax code of Ukraine. Uh, the changes were adopted in the first hearing already, and we are expecting the second hearing uh, to be uh, this year. So probably we will have the new rules 
uh, starting from uh, 2022. Uh, basically, the changes are the following. There should be one uh, rate for the tax on GGR. Mm -hmm. The tax rate will be 10%. The operators will still be paying the corporate profit tax. Uh, the rate of the corporate profit tax is 18%. And they're uh, going to be the tax on winnings, which is, uh, again, uh, at the level of 18%. But there should be the uh, tax base for the winning tax, which will be exempt from taxation. It's going to be approximately approximately 1,500 uh, euros. Mm -hmm. So the winning of this amount will be exempt from winning tax. Mm -hmm. Sure. So, yeah, plenty of detail there. As you say, it's, uh, tax is obviously a, a big issue to... to um, yeah. Yeah. And, um, in the details. Yeah, absolutely. yeah, exactly. And, uh, yeah, it's a big issue to kind of work on. Um, we, we've got a, in, in our upcoming magazine, we've got, a, we've got an article from Eternal Law, who specialize kind of in, in Ukrainian gaming and law. And, and they mentioned a few of the issues that you've mentioned. One thing that uh, they said as well is um, the Ukrainian market at the moment isn't necessarily appealing enough to international operators. Is that fair to say kind of at this early stage? I think the absence of the changes to the tax code is one of the reasons why international operators do not enter the market so far and still waiting for the changes. And mm. probably as soon as we uh, have the new law, we uh, will examine the new commerce in 2022. Mm -hmm. And apart from obviously this, this tax, uh, tax issue that you talk about, what can regulators and the government do to maybe, uh, is there anything more they can do to attract international companies to, to the Ukrainian gaming market? Well, uh, to make the regulation as uh, transparent as possible, of course, and I would also suggest to, to build the, the relationship be between the gaming board of Ukraine and the operators, because there are a number of working groups so far working with the gaming board on different aspects, but I would suggest the government to be more even open and transparent and uh, have the dialogue with the operators, both local and international. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's a fair point because even you have a lot of mature markets like uh, like Sweden, um, where they say uh, you know operators and the regulator, there's just not enough dialogue. Yeah, that's right. Yes, because mm -hmm. I'm sure that international operators they have great experience uh, from operating on other territories and they can share this experience with the Ukrainian authorities. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, let's say the regulator you know improves on on certain aspects and carries on. And the government carries on the like you said the good work it's already done because it's not an easy challenge it's not an easy prospect launching a new market as we earlier said how much uh, potential if the regulation all goes in the right way how much potential does the ukrainian gaming market have well actually the ukraine is a big market with population over 40 million people and there are many young people and they love sports and they love to bet so the potential is really huge of this market Mm -hmm. And long term, I know it might be difficult, kind of, it's, it's kind of a crystal ball question uh, to predict the future, but can it compare to some of the more established uh, regulated markets in Europe? So, I mean, obviously, you've got the UK, uh, and the Netherlands have just launched online gaming. You know, where can Ukraine kind of fit into this European jigsaw? It's a, it's a good question, actually. I'm sure that the year of 2022 probably will show us like more, 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 more details and we will have a clear view of. Uh, how the country will develop in this respect. Mm -hmm, sure. And actually, that, that brings me to, to the final plan question I have. And that is, um, I might put you on the spot because you just said 2022, but what lies ahead in 2022 uh, for the Ukrainian market? I, I guess you, you've got, you talk about the, the tax uh, changes and, and is there anything else that we need to be keeping our eye on in terms of Ukraine and Ukrainian gaming? I'm pretty sure that in case the changes to the tax code is adopted, we will meet new international operators entering the market. So probably the budget for advertising will be increased significantly and uh, there are going to be uh, new companies, new working places. And uh, I mean, they probably fight for the, for the clients, uh, of course, will, will be much higher. And it, it, it's going to be a bit competitive market there that next year, and we're looking for it. Sure. And, and actually, a final word on, in terms of uh, Parry Match, what are kind of your, your, the brand's aims from the Ukrainian market next year? And, and you know, how, how does the Ukrainian market, what are you going to take from there compared to kind of other markets you're looking at? 
well, Ukraine is one of the markets we are focusing on right now, but probably it's one of the main one because the brand was initially established in Ukraine in 1994. And uh, we are having to license this, of course, uh, our planning, the operation will um, extend next year. And uh, we are also considering on the developments of uh, other operators and uh, we'll uh, fingers crossed that the industry will be developing further. Mm -hmm. uh, well, Yevgenia, thanks very much for, for your insight. Um, plenty of information there on Ukraine. And as, as you said, a lot to kind of look forward to. Uh, looks like there, there could be a lot, of, a lot of activity in this space in the coming year. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure. Thank you.